Hello students. Today we will go to discuss the systematic procedure for estimation of sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate present in a mixture. I have prepared the solution and now I am taking 10 ml of mixture of solution in a conical flask. Then after taking the solution, now I will add 30 ml of distilled water to the above solution. Because in diluted solution, the ion can move very fast and the reaction will be very fast. That's why I am adding 30 ml of distilled water to it. After that, I will add one drop of phenophthalein indicator to indicate the end point of the reaction. Now I will add, now then first I will take the initial bullet reading and I will note down in a notebook. After that I will do the titration. And I am taking the n by 10 HCl solution in burette which, which strength is known and it is known as a standard solution and I note down the initial burette reading then I add one drop of phenophthalein to the mixture of sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate solution then immediately the color of the solution becomes pink look at carefully then I will continuously stir and I will do titration with standard HCl solution taken in burette I will add drop by drop HCl solution to the mixture of solution and con constantly stirring the solution till the color of the solution changes into colorless and keep patience after one or two minutes look the slowly the color of the solution becomes vanishes so keep patience and do titration continuously to the end point of the reaction Slowly the color of the solution changes to colorless. It's your sincere attention that you must constantly stir the solution. Look to total solution becomes colorless. Now the solution becomes colorless. It indicates that the half of the solution undergo reaction because it is a two step process. In one step, first we use phenophthalein indicator and the color of the solution becomes colorless. Look carefully. Then after that, I will add some methyl orange indicator one drop methyl orange indicator so the color of the solution becomes straw yellow and I will note down the final bullet reading the final bullet reading becomes initial bullet reading for the second titration look this solution becomes straw yellow if I will do same procedure then the color becomes pink. Before that I will note down the final bullet reading of first reaction. Then this final bullet reading becomes initial bullet reading for the second titration. Then 
then by progressive addition of uh, same HCl solution will give the result. Con by addition, progressive addition of HCl, we stir the solution constantly. Then the color of the solution will change to pink color. It's your humble presence, your patience must be there. And uh, you should not add um, more amount of HCl simultaneously. You should add it drop by drop continuously. Then you, you will find that the co color of the solution changes slowly to pink color. Look carefully. It becomes slightly pink. So it indicates that the reaction becomes completed. So I add just one to, to three drops to check whether the pink color persistent or not. It constantly uh, remain or not. Yes, it is constantly remain as pink. So it, it, it indicates that the reaction becomes completed. Ne next, I will note down the final bullet reading of the second reaction, second step. Then same procedure will follow for three times to get the three concordant reading. I think this will be helpful for you. Then if it is helpful then like, share, subscribe my channel to get the new video. Thank you all for your patience.